Hi, Deb here, and I'm making this video for Labor Day. Do they celebrate Labor Day in other countries? Anyway, I'd like to know. Um, but in America, it's Labor Day weekend, and so I thought I'd feature my Miss Union Maid, M-A-I-D, not M-A-D-E. Uh, she is a remarkable doll. She was made in the I've seen it listed as the 1950s, but she's actually from the early 60s, which means she's quite a fragile, beautiful little doll. She has a crown, she has a ball gown, and a, a thing that says Miss Union Maid. This is an important doll because <clears throat> she was made to try to encourage um, manufacturing in the U.S. <clears throat> I know every country, I would assume, you'd want things to be made in your own country and a little bit of pride there. And this doll, I'm going to, I don't like to read all the time. Uh, I, I love to read, but I mean, I don't like to read on my, uh, on my program. But there, if you want to pause it, I don't know if you can read it or not. But anyway, I shall read it to you because she's important. She was made for a purpose. You are now the proud possessor of Miss Union Made Doll. This lovely doll symbolizes Miss Union Made, who represents over 16 million AFL-CIO union men and women, enjoying the fruits of progressive American standards of living through fair employment practices um, spelled out in a union agreement. And complete your set of Miss Union Made dolls in six colors by ordering, and it gives the address. Um, my dad was a union member, so was my mother, and so I was raised in a union family. My brother is too. So I couldn't find all the colors, and she came in a bell-shaped plastic thing. Do you remember? Well, most of you aren't as old as me, but I have dolls. I was going to dig one out, and I, she's buried somewhere in a little bell-shaped plastic thing. But anyway, she's a remarkable doll. Here's the rest of it. Miss Union Maid was a Union Maid doll created in the early 60s to revitalize the American doll manufacturing industry. She was sold for at least two years and a baby version of the doll called Little Miss Union Maid came later. The seven and one half inch doll's eyes moved and buyers had six ball gown styles to choose from. Uh, let's see what else to, okay. Doll was made by members of the International Union of Doll and Toy Workers in the United States and Camp Canada. I've never heard of that union. That union is now known as the International Union of Allied Novelty and Production Workers, and it's one of the smallest unions in the AFL-CIO. Because toy production has mostly been offshored, the union now includes workers in other industries. Um, I know people aren't all pro-union and that's your choice. <laughs> but I do want to point out the first Labor Day was started by union members. It was September 5th. <laughs> no, I'm not cheating. 1882. And unions are responsible for eight hour work days, the end of abusive child labor, safety practices, minimum wage, um, weekends. I mean, they didn't create weekends, but people get off weekends a lot. Um, what else? Better pay. <laughs> and over, did I say overtime? Oh, well. Anyway, Miss Union Made had a purpose for being made. And it's Labor Day weekend, so I thought it would be a good time to share her story with you. So I'm planning to find more. I have one on my watch list, so don't buy it. <laughs> There she is, Miss Union Maid. So happy Labor Day, and if you don't celebrate it, happy day. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching. Please give me a like, comment, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram. I appreciate it. Toodles.